Hello, everyone. Let me just get this all set up. Hope you guys are having a good Thursday. Okay. Perfect. All right. So tonight, I always forget to introduce myself, y'all. Okay, my name's Kayla. I'm here with Broken Compass Creations. And here at Broken Compass Creations, I sell hand painted door hangers and signs. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> I sell hand painted door hangers and signs. Um, and I teach people how to paint virtually and in person. So if you want to paint with me virtually, this is exactly the place to do it. I um, do, I sell art kits. Um, so you can paint with me virtually. And I do painting tutorials on Facebook. And then I upload them to YouTube so you can watch them wherever. And then um, if you're local to my area, which is Lafayette, Indiana, um, I also do paint parties, so if you're interested in me coming to you, wherever that might be, and providing you with a wooden blank um, and paint and, you know, a fun night, um, then I also do paint parties. So, and if you are watching this on the replay, uh, comment down below and say hashtag replay so I know that you caught me on the replay um, rather than joining us live. That way I know who all got to see this today. So... Tonight we are painting this really cute leopard print Santa. So this guy was one of my art kits for Christmas in July. And I'm going to teach you guys how to paint him tonight. He's so cute. So um, if you purchased, I sold these as art kits and as wooden blanks. And the blank actually has the Santa etched into the wood. So it's going to be a really good painting guide for us tonight. My mom's on. Hi, mom. Comment, yeah, comment if you're joining us tonight. Um, so, yeah, we're going to paint him tonight. And the one I, uh, I did tweak the design just a little bit um, from this guy to the one I put on here. I added some eyebrows to this Santa, so he'll look a little bit different, but basically the same gist. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to, uh, not that one. I'm going to start with painting the leopard print background tonight first. So I'm using buttermilk, the color buttermilk from Decor Americana. That's one of my favorite paint brands. Um, and it's a really like nice kind of light cream color. So it's a good one. Um, and I'm going to start with like a a little bit larger of a flat tip brush. So if you got an art kit, you get two brushes. One's a larger flat tip brush and one is a smaller round tip brush. And those are the types of brushes we're gonna be using tonight. So I'm going to dip my brush in just a little bit of water and then get some paint on it so that my paint goes on all nice and smooth. And I'm gonna start painting around the Santa because we're gonna do the leopard print um, first. So we're just going to do this base coat around the Santa. And you know, guys, I know sometimes it's like, oh, I messed up, whatever. First of all, it's paint, so you can always fix it. And second of all, I feel like painting and probably any sort of artistic endeavor is kind of like helpful to challenge any sort of, mm, like, if you struggle with perfectionism, I feel like it kind of is a good way to challenge yourself a little bit and just like being okay with things not being perfect. So, um, yeah, it's a good, a good uh, exercise for that. So, um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and paint the background. I'm sure some of you guys are like happy July is almost over because you're like not Christmas people and I've been doing Christmas in July so I apologize if you're one of those people um but I am a major Christmas lover so I couldn't help myself to not do Christmas in July I just love it too much So I am no longer selling this art kit, but you can still order the blank on my website, which is brokencompasscreations.com. So if you're watching this video on live or on replay, and you're like, ooh, that kind of looks fun to paint, maybe I want to do that, go ahead and 
head on over to my website and you can actually purchase the blank and then just rewatch my video. And then you can kind of just, you know, fast forward me or pause me when you need to pause me, fast forward me when you don't want to listen to me talk or whatever. So if you're like, ooh, I really like this design, I do still want to paint it. Um, you can, my dog, can you guys hear? <laughs> um, he is, um, well, both my dogs, one's being quiet right now, one's whining. <laughs> They're in the kennels. Um, because my husband's eating dinner with, um, one of his friends right now. And so, you know, so they can eat dinner in peace. The dogs are up in here with me. So, Remy's just whining a little bit. So if you're hopping on, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are up to tonight. Where you're watching from, anything like that. Comment down below if you're a fan of Christmas in, Jul no, Christmas in July or not. Are you like over it? Are you not Christmas in July people? Or can you dig it? I wanna know that. I realize I'm more of a rare breed in that sense, but we still go for it. But you guys, I'm so sad because, um, you know, I signed up for a lot of different um, festivals and craft shows coming up for like the end of summer and fall. And a couple have already been canceled, which I get, you know, I totally get it, um, but uh, I'm just a little sad because I really wanted to be able to, like, get out and meet some people and make some connections and people to, like, see my products in real life and stuff, so it just kind of stinks that uh, some are getting canceled and it worries me a little bit because I don't know. Uh... Remy! I don't know um, if, you know, what's going to happen with the other ones. Here. What's going to happen with the other ones coming up? Like, are, is everything going to get canceled? Uh, I don't know, you guys. It makes me just a little nervous. And then I'm going to have all this inventory that I've been working on. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Not everything is canceled, but I don't know. We'll see what happens come, like, you know, October, November. So if you um, are, so I do, so if you watch my stories at all on um, Instagram or Facebook, I do give a lot of, like, behind the scenes and things that I've, like, been working on. And one thing that I talked about this week was doing a pre-order for fall. Um, so basically my idea behind it is that I would do offer a pre-order for like three different fall designs and in the pre-order they'd be offered at a discounted price if you order them by a certain date and so that kind of helps me um, with getting the appropriate inventory for people and you getting to have it like on time for when you want to decorate for fall um, and also getting things at a discounted price which is always a plus so um, I'm curious though like if you'd be interested in a pre-order type thing and if so what kind of designs you might want to see in a pre-order so if you have any designs design ideas or um if you would be interested in a pre-order comment down below so i kind of get a gauge of what we are looking at for that my grandma kelsey and grandma are watching hi grandma and kelsey all right guys so i have my background painted mm -hmm. And now I'm just gonna give it a quick dry with this hair dryer so we can, I'm gonna have to do a second coat and then get to the fun stuff.
I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat of that. It's a buttermilk um, color. Oh shoot, I forgot to get a paper towel. Just use this cloth. Dee Dee got my Santa. Love the little fall piece. Oh, I'm so glad, Dee Dee. Dee Dee ordered. Um, if you've been on my website, I think I posted it too. It's like a thankful leaf. It's really pretty. I'm glad that you liked it. And she ordered a Santa blank to paint. So that's exciting. I mean, y'all, if you were here earlier in the week on Monday, I came on live with my husband who has zero painting experience. He said the last time he painted, um, was in school <laughs> when he took art class so um you guys and his stuff ended up really good i had a lot of people be like wow i was kind of impressed and i'm like yeah you guys like i'm telling you um it's really not as hard as you think it's just not as hard as you think you know there are little tricks and tips and um you can totally create something yourself that is beautiful and that you could use in your own home and be proud of or give to someone and it's just super cool so Remy <laughs> he's just whining um so yeah don't don't I understand the intimidation but seriously don't worry about it. just go for it you know if you think that it might be like fun and relaxing to try to paint something like go for it it I mean that's you guys I had no painting experience <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I guess I did take painting in high school, but, like, I was terrible. I mean, I was awful. And <laughs> I didn't know. Remy, <laughs> can you guys hear Remy? Can you guys hear my dog right now? Um, I was not a good artist in high school at all. And it was, you know, it was very, very different than what I do now um, of things that we are painting. And I just didn't get it. Like, you know, if you ever took an art class in high school, you probably had, like, critiques and stuff. I don't know if you guys ever remember doing that. Where, like, you all have some sort of project that you're working on, and then you all get together, and you have to, like, critique it with everyone. Oh, shoot. My phone's gonna die. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let's see. Oops. I don't know. Hopefully it's plugged in now. <laughs> My phone dies so quickly, so hopefully it's plugged in. I have so many issues with like <laughs> getting plugged in. Um, do you have mini pineapple blanks? I do not currently have them on my website, but I could definitely, um, make those for you. That's no big deal at all. Yeah, you guys, if you have, like, things that you want blanks of and they're not on my website, please feel free to, um, ask me because I do have the capability of <laughs> really creating almost anything with this laser cutter. So, um, yeah, I could definitely do mini pineapple blanks if you would like them for sure. For sure. Be happy to do that for you. Um, so what I was what was I saying? Oh, I was um art class in high school. Yeah. I just you okay, so we'd all be working on a project and then once you finish it you had to critique it. All get together and like critique each other's projects. Y'all. I don't even know. I'm like, I don't know what to say. Yours looks great. Everything looks great. <laughs> you know, and I just, I feel like there's part, things about art, certain, I don't know. I guess a typical artist or something, where it's like, there's just something that they have. They just like get it. They can like really, when I was in social work, um, I worked with someone who was an art therapist and she was amazing like amazing I used to do group therapy and she would come in and do an hour of um, art therapy for my group and I'm telling you because you have to be a certified art therapist to do like actual art therapy and it was 
so amazing and I'm like how do you she would go through all these different exercises and have them do different art stuff and then they kind of talk about it and it's like she could just look at a piece of someone's art and then it's just like where did you get that she pulls out so many like amazing things that she's just like seen from their work and um, I'm like how did how do you get that where does that come from how do you see that like it's just so amazing I feel like um, it's true like for real artists <laughs> Okay, I'm a real artist. Certain, like, I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling. I'm not making sense. But anyway, I feel like I'm just not the typical, um, I didn't grow up doing art. I just, it never caught on for me. And then here I am. So if I can do it, you can do it, you guys. <laughs> Seriously. Never an artist at all. Okay, I'm gonna dry this and then get into cheetah print. the cheetah print yes Dee, Dee just let me know how many um how many pineapples you want and what size you want and I'd be happy to cut them for you okay so now we're gonna go into the cheetah print which is like a super fun thing to do um and I'm gonna change brushes just because I don't like <laughs> cleaning my brush but you could do this with um, a flat tip brush. I'm going to use an angle brush, filbert tip, whatever. Um, and so I'm going to use, it's called Chocolate Brown from Deco Art Americana, or Dark Chocolate. I think it's Dark Chocolate. And basically what I'm going to do is just make kind of like squiggly circles. Like it's not perfect at all. And you can decide how big you want your cheetah print to be. It could be really big, could be small, like it, or how many, like how close you want them together. It's totally up to you. Um... There's really no like real rhyme or reason to anything with cheetah print. It's, you know, supposed to look kind of messy and whatnot. Um, but I am going to kind of use my rule of thumb for when I do polka dots. So if you've watched me, the, watched me before and you've seen me do polka dots, I basically do them in threes. And that's kind of how I space them out just perfect. So when I do, like, let's say... I did these two, right? I did these two, and so I want to make a triangle. So I have these two, and I do three. And then I have these two, I'm going to do one down here to make a triangle. And I just kind of go like that, like this one and this one, this one, make a triangle, and so on and so forth. And that's how I get them um, to be, like, perfectly um, spaced out so there's not, like, a weird space where there's nothing <laughs> um, or, you know, too many too close together at one spot or something like that. So that's what really helps me keep it um, spaced out well. And I'm going to do some like off the ornament. You guys, cheetah print is so much fun to do. How do you guys feel about cheetah print? Are we like into it? I did a tutorial on how to do this. I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. And it's just fun. And you could do this in so many different ways and with so many different colors. Like you could do like a really fun you know, pink and purple cheetah print or something. It doesn't have to even be like these kind of more traditional cheetah print colors, which is, yeah, just fun, very versatile. Now we have like the base of our cheetah prints, just those messy circles. I'm going to dry it real quick and see if I want to do a second coat on them or not. I can't decide.
Shoot, my phone did not plug in. Okay, we're on 10%, people. I gotta figure this out real quick. Eek. Come on. Okay, perfect. We got it. We got it. Okay. So sorry about that. <laughs> uh, this is like the super, you know professional stuff over here. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay. So I do think I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat on these real quick, just because some, some parts are a little bit see-through. Hi Kayla. Love, love, love my Santa and fall door hanger. Oh, I'm so happy that you love them. Um, yeah, she also got the fall leaf. It's a good, I mean, it's a really good one for fall and, um, for fall and like Thanksgiving and stuff. Um, and she also got my vintage Santa, who's like super cute. That's one of my favorites. Um, so I do have a couple of Christmas designs up on the website. I'm still going to be working on lots more, but, um, I do have some up already. For those who are looking for things. And I have lots of fall stuff up, um, and a couple more. I kind of did some like Halloween type designs today. I don't know. I'm like interested um, to see what people will be will be interested. Like, I know some people like love Halloween and that's their favorite holiday and they go all out. Like, some people are like Halloween is to them what Christmas is to me. Um, hi to Betty in Florida. My grandma says. Um, but. I've never been like a huge, I don't dislike Halloween, but it's never been like something we've celebrated largely. So I don't know. We'll see. I did, I've done a couple, I've done like a Mrs. Frankenstein. I did a Mr. Frankenstein this week. He's super cute. And I did a sugar skull, like a knife. It's, it's a friendly sugar skull. <laughs> um, and what other Halloween things did I do? I think that's, I think the rest is more just like fallish. But I don't know. I, I I don't know. I have some other ideas of like a ghost or something, but I just don't know if people would want it. You know what I mean? It's hard to gauge sometimes what people will want to buy. Okay. So I just did a second coat of those, and now I'm going to do kind of like the outline of it in black. And this is also Deco Heart um, Americano Matte Paint. So I'm going to use a round tip brush this time. And basically I'm going to go roughly outline our squiggly circles. So this is not, you know, a super <laughs> pretty um, pristine design. It's fun because you get to be a little messy. So I'm kind of going to do like C's or like half circles on them and going different directions. I'm just going to mix it up. So some of them, it's not going to be all connected. So let me show you. I'm going to do like this one, like that, and then let's do... Okay, so as you can see, like some of these, uh, let's see. Like this guy, it has like two C's facing each other. Some of them go like almost all the way around the circle, but it's not fully like outlining the whole circle. So you just kind of want them to go all different directions. Um, it kind of like <laughs> works out if you, you know, have shaky hands or something. Um, kind of works out for this design if you struggle to, um, Stay steady when you're like painting or something. This is a good design for that because it kind of works in your favor. Because I'm just making the lines like squiggly themselves. And just going all different directions. See how 
how cool would this be to like have in your house and you could put it on your door or in your house. I feel like you could do either one um, for Christmas time. And then it's like someone will be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Where'd you get that? And you'll be like, I painted it. How cool is that? I always think it's like the biggest compliment. Oh, um, the first time. Okay, hold on a second before I get into that story. Here we go. We have our leopard print finish. Ta-da! Not too bad, is it? Um, so, now we're going to get started on the Santa. And I'm going to mix some white with a little bit of this buttermilk color because I kind of want to create almost like a vintage -y white. I don't want it to be white white, but I don't want it to be all the way cream. So I'm going to mix them together and kind of create like, you know, I'm calling it vintage white. I guess a little off white or something. That's what we're going for right now. And then I'm going to paint his beard, his mustache, and like the top of his little hat, um, the ball on his hat, end of his hat, and then like that top of the, um, what's it called? What is the Santa's hat called? Is it Santa's hat? Why can I not think of the name of like a red hat? What is that called? <laughs> is there a name for that? Anyway, the fur on the top of his hat. I feel like I'm going crazy. Does it have a name? You guys, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm losing it. Okay, so you can go. I'm going to mix it. Um, it's just called a Santa hat. I think it's just called a Santa hat. Okay, that's what we're landing on. <laughs> guys. Okay, so I'm mixing my white and my cream together to get this off-white color. And I like to mix it with the back of my brush because I really get like a nice... Um, full mix like that and then it doesn't like gunk up my brush with a whole bunch of paint that I'm not ready for yet. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting his um, mustache and beard first with this color. So again you could use like a flat tip brush, um, angle tip brush, really whatever you're comfortable with. It just depends what you're comfortable with. So, so we don't want it to fully like blend in with the um, background of this, but we are gonna do some whimsical outlining, so I don't wanna use this brush, it's not working well for me. So it will be um, easy to, I'm gonna go back to this one. It will be easy to tell the difference between um, his beard and the background. If you feel like everything's like too mono, too tan or something. You are correct. Okay. It's a Santa hat. Man, I lost it there for a second. <laughs> I'm like, what? All right. And I love this design because it has this really like bright metallic gold and I just, I kind of love the gold at Christmas time. It's just something a little different and yeah. And if you like, so I didn't dry off, oops, I didn't dry off my um, brown and black paint after I painted that. And so if you like get a little bit in his beard, it's actually very, it's totally fine. Because we're going to um, mess it up a little bit, um, I guess, dirty it up a little bit, add a little shading and stuff. Um, so really it's not a big deal if you get the little black smeared in there, a little brown. It'll just add to the blending of everything. Like I got some in it and it's made a biggie. This could also be, um, so like I said, my husband and I painted some Christmas ornaments the other night on Facebook Live and those um, little ornaments are being sold on my website as well. And um, this could actually be a fun design to do like on an ornament, on a little ornament. Don't even necessarily have to do it on this bigger ornament. If you want to like put it on your tree or something. And then we're also going to do his little mustache. And we're going to add some 
Okay. Add some shading to his mustache too, so you can kind of tell the difference of where it's at. nose and you just want to flatten out those brush strokes because you don't want those to be visible I always hate that I'm like oh, I just don't don't want to be able to see my brush strokes okay Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Again, if you watch my stories, um, which you totally should if you want to see behind the scenes because there's, <laughs> I, I put a good amount on there. Some sneak peeks and stuff. But today, um, I was, <laughs> so every week I kind of take a couple pictures. Um, I like plan out my lives and when I'm going to go live and all that kind of jazz. And I was, um, planning out all that kind of stuff and next week I'm gonna paint the mini um, snowman on live and so I was taking a picture because they always do like a post reminding you about my live or whatever and so I was taking a picture for it and <laughs> I um I, I was like oh what do I want to do for this picture oh I should totally like all get all bundled up because the snowman is all bundled up so put on a scarf and a hat and my winter coat to take this picture with the snowman oh my gosh and my I come out um of my office and my husband's like what are you doing I'm like you know just taking a picture <laughs> he's like you're so extra I'm like yeah I am it's cool okay so I'm just kind of doing this um the white part of his hat just there's no line for that um so you can kind of make it however big or small that you want but i'm just kind of making it a little bit um wavy at the top so it's like a fur hat would be the fur on the hat then i'm going to do the bow over here the very end of the hat which again is not like a perfect circle either so no pressure. Okay. So, that is all of the... Ooh, you know what? His eyebrows. We gotta do his eyebrows, too. I'm gonna use a round tip brush to do his eyebrows. Sorry, you guys, I like just got really quiet and concentrated <laughs> on this eyebrow. Okay. Okay. Now we're good. So, we have his, all this white done. So, that's going to need a second coat. So, let's go ahead and just hit it with the hair dryer. And then we can do a second coat and add some shading um, on this round. line still comes through a little bit so you can still see where you need to paint but it's not like blaring um, 
So we're gonna go ahead and do a second coat. Obviously it needs a second coat, it's very see-through. It's not very pretty at the moment. But we don't judge a door hanger or a sign until it's done. So, you do not have to do shading by any means. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, it would look super cute without shading. But if you would like to do just, you know, a little bit of shading, you um, are more than welcome to give it a try. You know, you can always try it and don't like it, paint over it. So that's the good part. So I'm just going to put on this start with his beard first and do this white kind of vintage white like we talked about So, and then what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of that buttermilk color that we used before, so that like cream color into the beard a little bit. Um, actually, let me get this thing real quick. Okay. And so I'm just kind of going to, you can do this in different ways, but I'm really, I'm trying to like make... Just some definition in his beard so I'm kind of just blending it in I guess this is more blending than like a lot of shading but I kind of just want to give it some dimension so I'm kind of just going in like circular half circles or whatever you do that with so much ease I promise it's not that hard um, so go and just some half circles, um, kind of like a curly beard would be. That's kind of what I'm picturing at the moment. And it's not like super defined or anything. Like it's very blended out, but you can just kind of see. It just gives it a little bit more dimension, you know. And so if I feel like I have too much of the buttermilk, I'm gonna go back in with the white color and just, you kinda just have to work with it till you're happy. And I kinda like, like, I wouldn't worry about if you can see some brush strokes on this type of thing, cause I kinda like it with, I don't know, a little texture. And if you work with it too much and it's too blended, <laughs> It's a process, you guys. <clears throat> okay. It's really hard to know when to stop <laughs> doing it. So there I have the beard. I don't even know if you can tell in the light, like, if you can see the shading or not in it. Um, it's kind of hard to tell off here. And then for the beard, I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush. You could use a round tip brush, smaller flat tip brush, etc. I'm trying to see if you can see that in there. See a little bit more shading. And I'm going to add some of this buttermilk to the mustache. Because I kind of want you to be able to separate the mustache from the beard. So I'm just going to go straight in with the buttermilk. And then we'll kind of blend it out a little bit. I'm so excited tonight, you guys. Um, after this live, if you've been on here before, I did talk about my husband recently had was building a fire pit in our backyard. And so tonight we're having our first fire and I'm really excited in our new fire pit. So I'm pumped about it.
Okay, so basically what I did was just on the bottom half of the beard, go along the line of how the um, etched line was with it. With that buttermilk color. So it's not all the way filled in. Just like that. It kind of looks ridiculous at the moment. And then we're going to go in with the white and we're just going to blend her out a little bit. To be almost just like slightly darker than the beard. So sometimes, like it's best to blend and shade and all of that when the pet when the paint is wet. So if you're having struggling, if you're struggling with your paint like being wet to be able to blend it or whatnot, um, or if it's just not flowing very well, you can add just a touch of water to either your paint or your brush and that really helps the process of blending so. And again, you're just kind of working with it till you like it. <laughs> just got to give it some time and figure out what you like with it. So I'm just kind of, I don't know if you can see how you can see it in the light. It just has some like white highlights to it. But the bot, the very bottom of it that connects to the beard, is a, just like slightly darker. So that really helps distinguish it from the rest of the beard. Yes, I'm happy with it. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the, I guess we should maybe do, I'm going to do his eyebrows while I'm kind of like working on shading and stuff. So I'm just going to do a second coat of this vintage white that we made up. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of more buttermilk to it. And just... kind of want it to you know match his facial hair as best as possible okay and I went inside the lines a little bit but that's okay because we still got to paint his face so we'll cover it up and then I'm kind of just getting the sides of his beard that I couldn't really reach reach with that flat tip brush Okay, so now we have all of this, and now we're going to do like the fur on his Santa hat. Guaranteed mine will not look this good. I bet it will. You got this, Dee Dee. You can do it. I believe in you. It's not as hard as you may think. Okay, so now I don't want the, I think I'm still going to make this. The top of the hat, just the vintage white. I want it to look a little more white than his beard. Just again to add a little bit of separation. Since we have a lot of the same like type of colors happening with his beard and the hat and everything. So we'll just kind of go over it. And then we have to do the, 
little ball on his hat as well. Okay, so now we have all of those parts done. Now let's go ahead and start working on the hat. So the hat is in this true red color, which is also Decor Americana, matte paint, matte acrylic paint. And we're gonna paint his hat. Try to find a brush I wanna use. So again, flat tip, it's fine, angle brush, whatever you feel most comfortable with, they all will do. All will do for this. Okay, so. Now we're going in with this true red color and doing his hat. Oh my gosh, you guys, he's so cute. I'm so excited to paint more Santas in my future. And you guys, if you get a little bit out of the lines or whatever, um, really. It is not a big deal because we're going to do like kind of a whimsical outline to this so it's it'll be easily covered up. So there's, you know, don't worry about it if it's not perfect. It's a-okay. Okay, so I have my first cut of red down. I'm going to let that dry while I do his face. So I'm using this warm beige color for his face. And I'm probably going to want to use either a smaller round tip brush or just Remy. <laughs> Sounds like puppy wants attention. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he um, talks. He's a talker. He's ready to go outside and run around with his sister. Um, where am I? Okay, so now we're gonna do his face with this warm beige color. So this is where if you went outside the lines with your um, eyebrows, like I did a little bit, you can cover it up. Remy. He's just whining. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint over the eyes for now because the eyes are going to be black so it'll be easy to, um, this color will be easy to cover up with black. Hey, Remy. He wants to help. <laughs> yeah, apparently he is used to being like at my feet um, when I'm painting. But since we have someone over right now, um, he would just like whine at the door because he wants to hang out, <laughs> uh, which he will get to do when they're done eating dinner. <laughs> okay. So, too, if you don't want to, like, paint around the eyebrows, you could also do the face first and then paint the eyebrows on on top, um, because the white would also cover up this warm beige color, so. It's totally up to you on what you want to do. What's easier for you. Brush 
Okay, so now we have his face and we're gonna do his nose. So I'm gonna literally do just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red with this warm beige. And it's gonna make Remy. Babe, you're okay. It's gonna make this really, um, I need even a smaller brush than that. This really just kind of like, uh, oh, what are, like rosy. I'm gonna say maybe like a rosy skin color for his nose. So it's a little rosy. his little rosy nose as you can see I'm gonna hit this with a hairdryer real quick so we can do a second coat of all of that and then get to the really fun details I think I'm going to do a little, just like a very tiny bit of shading on his hat as well. Again, completely optional. You, you, it does not need the shading, but if you want to try it, by all means, go for it. But if it feels outside your comfort zone, like that's no big deal. So baby wipes fixes mistakes, which is amazing. Real good thing to have on hand if you're painting. Okay, and so I'm just gonna add like a very, very tiny bit of black, kind of to show like a fold in the hat. So where it might have like some folds. And then I'm just kind of going to work it in a little bit. So I don't want it to be like super harsh. Okay, that ended up a little bit bigger than what I wanted. That's okay though. We'll fix it. I'm gonna fix it. That's the thing about shading, you just gotta work with it. I'm gonna add some, oh, like a little bit of white. What did I do on this one? figure out what I like with this hat you guys <laughs> this is what happens I will just stare at something forever and figure out what to do <laughs> like do I like it do I not do I like it do I not and then I send a picture of it to my mom and say what do you think
Hmm. You guys, I'm just not liking any of the shading that's happening right now. I'm just going to paint over it. I'm just not a fan of what I'm producing at the moment. And you know what? Sometimes it happens. It's okay. <laughs> it is okay. I kind of blended in though, so... And ended up adding some shading in the end. Just a tiny bit. Give it a little extra color besides red. Okay, so. Then I'm gonna do a second coat on the face. For his little face. What brush was it? And we're gonna give him little like rosy cheeks too, like we did with his nose. And I'm still gonna paint over the eyes because you'll still just very slightly be able to see his eyes through the paint. Um, so there's no worries about, you know, not knowing where to put his eyes or something like that. That's what's so great about these etched designs, you guys. If you're new to painting, you're like, I don't know where to put anything. Um, these designs are like so helpful for beginners. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my round tip brush just to get these smaller areas. I'm gonna use my smaller round tip brush to get in between his eyebrows and his hat because it's a pretty small area in between his eyebrows. Okay. And then I'm gonna do his little rosy nose, do a second coat of that on his rosy nose. Okay. So now we have a second coat of all of that, and then we're gonna do some um, really slight, like rosy cheeks. So I'm gonna get that same color, and it's gonna be kind of like a dry brush. I don't really want a lot of paint on it. I just want it to be like super slight. Okay, I need a little bit more paint than what I'm getting at the moment. <laughs> And I'm just kind of dabbing the brush onto the sign. You can even like use your finger because I just want it to be really slight and kind of like blend in a little bit with his face. And pass on the little rosy cheeks. How dang cute. Okay. So now we still need to do his eyes, which are going to be in black. I should have painted my along with you tonight. What was I thinking? Yes, absolutely. If you purchase an art kit or a wooden blank, you can always paint live with me, which is kind of fun because um, you get to, you know, do it with me. Um, or you can always watch the replay. Either one. Because the replays always stay on. But painting live um, with me is super fun too. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in his eyes. Right. I'm getting really quiet. <laughs> Okay. One eye.
Okay, now we have his little his little eyes. And we're gonna put white dots in his eyes as well to give him a little glimmer, but I'm gonna wait for that black to dry first. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the really fun part, my favorite part. It's all these fun little like whimsical details. If I can open up this gold. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I can get it. <laughs> I wish my husband was watching. Maybe he'd come in here now. <laughs> Ow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. I might have to use my other gold. Okay, this is my favorite gold because it's like super, super like glimmery and um, shiny and metallic. But I can't open it. I don't know why. I had it open just the other day when I was making the art kits. It's not happening. Okay, I'll use my other golds that I like. This is still deco art. Um, it's still good gold. It's just not my favorite, but it'll work. Lord have mercy on my soul. Okay. So we're going to go in with a round, a small round tip brush to do all these details. That's my round tip brush. Okay. So these are whimsical details, you guys. No stress about them needing to be perfect. So I'm going to take my black and I'm kind of just doing a very rough outline of of everything that we just painted. Very rough outline. It doesn't even like have to be, you know, on, perfectly on the line or anything like that. Like that's kind of the fun part about things being whimsical is it just doesn't have to be perfect. And I kind of love that. As you can see, like my lines aren't even fully, um, like a full dark line. A lot of it is very dry brushed, um, very light, and sometimes it's better to do it quick instead of like trying to. Um, make things perfect because sometimes it's easy to like get caught in, caught up in trying to make it all perfect and it sometimes works better just to go for it and we'll do the outside of his hat And as you can see, like, I'm not even perfectly going around everything, you guys. Like, this is just a nice, messy, whimsical look. I do need a little bit more black. Man, I'm on the struggle bus <laughs> today with paint, you guys. I'm on the struggle bus. We can do this. I believe in myself. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, what else do I need to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, so I have like a rough outline of everything. And now I'm gonna do some like squigglies on his beard and on his mustache. I'm kinda covering up what I'm doing right now. Sorry, y'all. My mom, so cute. Thanks, mom. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna do 
just some random just some random squiggles here and just a little highlight add some dimension And do a little more on the hat. Okay, and then I'm going to go on with the gold and kind of do the same thing. You're bringing Santa to life. So cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the, I feel like these finishing touches on door hangers and signs really do bring the item to life. That's what's so fun about it. That's why it's like the best part. So we're going to do the same thing with the gold. And again, there's like no right or wrong way to do this, you guys. Just adding, giving Santa a little something extra. And do some on the hat. You could also totally add gold to the cheetah print in the cheetah print. That could be really cool. You could do the cheetah print with gold and brown instead of black and brown. You could do so many different things. Okay, so here we have him with all of his little gold and black squigglies. And now, um, enjoy this as usual. Gotta go get the kiddo. Awesome, Dee Dee, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. And now I'm just gonna take the white Put a little, two little dots in his eyes and it will be done. Yeah. I just want his eyes to have a little bit of glamour. Perfect. All right, y'all. Here we go. How stinking cute is he? Oh my gosh. I love him. He's so cute. Awesome, right? So seriously, not that hard. Took me what, an hour and 10 minutes? Done. Something perfect for your household, perfect as a gift, perfect on your door, whatever. So thank you guys for joining me tonight for this tutorial. It was a fun one. Of course, Christmas is near and dear to my heart. I love it so much. Um, but we will be moving away from Christmas stuff very soon, you guys. <laughs> um, only have one more Christmas live to do in Christmas in July. So if you're over it, we have other stuff coming up. I have a new art kit for sale. I forgot to bring it in here with me. But it's basically an initial letter. So you can get a small or large size. And that's this really pretty floor design on it. It's on my website at brokencompasscreations.com. So you can purchase the art kit that comes with all of the paint and the brushes and everything. Or you could just purchase the wooden blank and supply your own um, supplies. Paint and brushes, etc. So you can do either way of that, um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd love to paint with you. If you know anyone who would really enjoy this video or likes painting or might enjoy products that I make, I would greatly appreciate it if you spread the word about me and my business. It seriously does so much for me and I just appreciate it so much. So thank you for joining me guys. Um, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night and a great Friday tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.